Constance Nunes received world attention upon first landing in public view on September 14, 2018, when the initial episode of the now globally famous Netflix reality TV series, Car Masters Rust to Riches, aired. It was a walk in the park for her to grab everyone's attention right off the bat being a woman in an entirely male-dominated industry who, on top of that, can stand her ground pretty well. Nunez actually commands respect from her co-workers at Gotham Garage, not just through her daily work, but also due to an extensive and enviable history in the automobile industry. This makes her a very memorable character in Netflix's production, massively increasing the audience through the sheer power of curiosity, as well as attracting female viewers. Born on November 17, 1989, in Los Angeles, California, USA, Nunes is of Portuguese descent. Her father, an amateur racer and seasoned mechanic, played a significant role in sparking her interest in cars, as, following in his steps, she began working on vehicles at a very tender age, which led her to develop a passion for all things automotive. While building her resume in the automobile industry, Nunez also ventured into fashion modeling, using her physical appearance to heighten the prestige of numerous car shows. She has an impressive modeling portfolio, having done photo shoots for prestigious companies such as Jockey, Wrangler, Javanin Magazine, Feral Cosmetics, and Gillex Label. Nunez doesn't shy away from showcasing her body to her followers, frequently posting bits and pieces of her photo shoots on her Instagram page. However, Nunez's first and foremost passion is working on cars. She spends most of her time restoring and upgrading vehicles, dedicating the limited time she has for other projects to her modeling career and television projects. She boasts years of experience in the industry, having started in the trade by helping out her mechanic and race car driving father when she was young. She expanded her knowledge with personal projects and working on a vast array of vehicles way outside her comfort zone at the time. Thanks to her persistent will to improve, it became a given that she would be featured in a high-rated TV series such as Car Masters Rust to Riches. Apart from having worked in the service department of top car manufacturers, Nunez also builds both luxury and race cars for specialty shops. Viewers of the show know that Constance performs all sorts of car work for Gotham Garage, yet many are unaware that she collaborates with numerous Southern California brands too, including Classics, Charlie's Corvettes, and Cars Etc. Other special jobs and clients that Nunez found herself engaged with include four-wheel parts, Nito tires, and VP racing fuels, and she's also collaborated with Audi as a vehicular specialist. The aforementioned makes it easy to conclude that she's actually more involved with the car industry than most men seen around her on television. Constance owns a 1964 Ford Mustang, which she bought at the age of 16. She calls it Baby Sting, having poured countless hours into making the vehicle one of the most recognizable out there, and more importantly, perfectly to her taste. The car was originally Wimbledon white, but she wanted to ensure that the modification consisted of 1964 parts. Dedicated fans know that Baby Stang boasts the straight six engine, which operates effortlessly as her best loved part of the build, though it's been murmured that she wants to upgrade it to a 302 V8. In addition to her work in the automotive industry, Nunes has done stunt work in Hollywood films such as Bring It On and Dodgeball. She also has a significant social media following, with her debut in Car Masters Rust to Riches helping to catapult her public pages to hundreds of thousands of followers. In spite of being deemed highly attractive and sought after by many admirers, Nunes has had only one known relationship thus far that's known, with fellow autophile and amateur race car driver Jared Toller. Born on November 5, 1990, and so her junior by a year, Toller crossed paths with Nunez in 2011 at a party thrown by a mutual friend, where he instantly experienced a deep attraction for the reality TV star. He found his way into a conversation with her, and one thing led to another. They dated for the next eight years, deepening their bond through numerous shared interests, as fans believe his attraction for her grew tenfold upon witnessing her expertise with automobile industry endeavors. 
Their love culminated in a private wedding ceremony in Peru, California, on February 9, 2019, attended only by friends and family. However, the initially celebrated union proved to be short-lived due to, to this day, barely understood differences since both Jared and Constance keep to themselves on the matter. They divorced as early as 2020, at which point Nunez opened up on Instagram about the various difficulties she'd been experiencing by that point outside of the relationship. On November 17th, 2020, the world learned of Constance's difficult daily struggles, including supporting her father and best friend in battling esophageal cancer. She emphasized in the post that her dad has been in convalescence, but would hopefully recover fully in the coming months. Aside from characterizing her life as really hard, Nunez made no other statements as to what the reason for her divorce may be, which left many devoted fans' heads spinning. Although she also explained that in spite of having loving friends and family, she had been feeling lost and alone for quite some time, describing herself as more disconnected than ever before. On top of that, Nunez herself thought over the summer of 2020 that she had esophageal cancer, leading her in and out of numerous hospitals to obtain a proper diagnosis. This worry was exacerbated by the fact that she'd been suffering various alleged injustices at her various jobs, citing a hostile work environment as a source of additional stress. Apparently, Constance and her family were targeted by certain individuals on the internet, so experiencing cyberstalking and serious threats. She attributes this issue to men feeling threatened by her in the industry, although the real reason may never be known. To top everything off, she also contracted COVID-19 along the way. Her youth and physical fitness should have made the virus easy to deal with, but this doesn't seem to have been the case, as she admitted suffering a great deal from the illness. Knowing the worst of COVID-19 symptoms, it's very likely that Nunez experienced lung pain throughout extensive coughing, as well as damaged senses of taste and smell, possibly for weeks on end. At the end of the Instagram post, Constance emphasized how all of these factors combined to put her through a living hell, but that even the worst of the worst can result in learning to grow as a person, which she says has helped her become a much stronger individual. In the realm of reality television, few shows have captured the hearts of car enthusiasts quite like car masters rust to riches. Of course, partly due to Constance's presence in the series, this Netflix original series has been a high-octane ride from the get-go, offering viewers a unique blend of automotive wizardry and compelling human drama. The show revolves around the crew of Gotham Garage, a team of skilled mechanics and artists who've built a number of props for movie studios and television shows over the years. Led by Mark Tollet, the group breathes new life into classic cars, giving them modern makeovers in an attempt to raise their value and ultimately earn the company large profits. Each episode takes up one unique project, with the crew working their magic on a variety of vehicles, from 1964 Ford Thunderbirds to Volkswagen Bugs. A large number of personal issues are strewn throughout the group's efforts to create never-before-seen masterpieces involving professional rivalries and childish grudges, altogether making for prime-time television viewing. The series has had its share of iconic moments. For instance, in the first season, the experienced crew of Gotham Garage undertakes an attempt at converting a 1964 Ford Thunderbird into a so-called rocket car, all the while giving a smart car the treatment reserved for monster trucks. In another episode, the team gets to rearrange the parts of a 1970 Chevy C10 fleet side so as to upgrade and then trade it for the rather costly car body of a 1939 Zephyr. Despite the show's popularity, there have been some concerns about its authenticity due to the insufficient coverage of the restoration process. For example, it's been alleged that Sean Pilot, the crew's negotiator, might just be following lines in a script throughout the many dealings, as he has had somewhat of an acting career in his pre-Gotham Garage resume. 
obviously, the most glaring inconsistency with reality is the prospect of a well-established female fashion model getting dirty with the intricate and hard-to-handle machinery while building a rather complex vehicle from scratch. While Nunez's presence may not seem credible at first, anyone who has watched the show enough to see her debate or work on vehicles has been made well aware that the model's knowledge on the matter is beyond extensive. All things considered, these concerns haven't dampened the enthusiasm of the show's loyal fan base, who continue to tune in for the awe-inspiring renovations and the behind-the-scenes look at the world of car restoration. In essence, Car Master's Rust to Riches is more than just a car show. It's a testament to the power of creativity, teamwork, and sheer mechanical genius. It's about taking something old and forgotten and turning it into something new and extraordinary, which in turn brings significant profits. Ultimately, at the heart of it all, there's a group of passionate individuals who, episode after episode, remind the world that with the right tools, skills, and a bit of elbow grease, anything is possible. In spite of the worldwide audience's mixed feelings regarding Constance Nunez's expertise, as well as the constant pressure of having to prove herself due to being the so-called weaker sex, as of mid-2023, she's continuing her professional endeavors with renewed determination. The first example of this can be seen in her Instagram profile description, in which she clearly stated five seasons on Car Masters at Netflix, meaning she's most definitely set to appear in the fifth installment of the series, starting July 26, 2023. Thanks to this knowledge, fans around the globe can feel safe in knowing that their favorite female lead mechanic is here to stay for the foreseeable future. Unrelated to the glamour of high-profile mechanics in front of Netflix's cameras, Nunez owns and operates her own Cars by Constance shop in Wildemar, California, whose website offers several memorabilia featuring her likeness in front of prestigious vehicles, such as her favorite baby Stang. While she's set to continue appearing in Netflix's hit reality TV series, nonetheless, Nunez has various other sources of income to fall back on which lead many to believe that she will remain relevant in the industry for the foreseeable future. She began June 2023 by cementing her media presence and bolstering her relationship with the fans through a series of meet and greets in Pittsmo Beach, California, where she engages in lengthy poster signing for her endless waves of admirers. As for her beloved baby Stang, it seems to undergo constant upgrades, as its mother is never quite satisfied with the subsequent result. Understandably, the automotive industry makes significant leaps every year, and Nunez simply refuses to leave her signature car behind the competition. She uses the vehicle to go to every single event that involves the presence of her fans, allowing many to also see the car inside out and become acquainted with her most prized possession. With such strong dedication to keeping her fans engaged year-round, Constance's popularity has remained consistently on the rise since 2018. In June 2023, she has just over 1.2 million followers on Instagram, with tens of thousands of likes on every single post. With this in mind, her continued presence in Car Master's Rust to Riches doesn't seem necessary for Nunez to maintain significant popularity having her name permanently etched in the ever-bending metal of the automotive industry. Thank you for spending time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us, and we'll see you back tomorrow.